Okay, uh, hi guys <coughs> uh, It's me Saleh uh, Welcome to my channel um, Again Presenting to you The Tarantula Okay um, It's been a while I've been flying this uh, bugger Because I've been having some Big problems with it Ever since I go and <coughs> um, Modify the transmitter Uh, the problem is I'm not sure whether It's the transmitter problem Or the copter problem But I'm pretty sure it's my mistake um, Due to my Carelessness in doing the uh, Modification for the transmitter um, So currently this is the transmitter The original transmitter And I've uh, opened up and modified The transmitter to <coughs> change the uh, wiring to RP SMA, uh, see okay. uh, so this one, so that I can actually install this antenna. It's a freaking long antenna. I think it's like nine decibel or something uh, antenna on it. So <coughs> the first project that I tried, I actually. Uh, made some mistake along the way um, I think I soldered it wrongly or something uh, and inevitably I go and did something wrong inside the transmitter so most probably this transmitter soon I'll be buying a new one because of this transmitter it took me so long just to understand what's the problem and also ordering from gearbest.com took them some time to send the spare part to me so what happened is that um, during my third flight after the modification, uh, the transmitter doesn't respond well to the cockopter. I did fly, but out of a sudden, um, the cockopter suddenly, um, when I throttle down, the cockopter went throttle up for no reason. So in the end, it got stuck on a tree uh, at that point in time another mistake came is that I joined some of the guys um, DIY drone guys um, so they don't really understand much about the brush motor so what I usually do if I stuck my quadcopter on a tree I usually turn off the, the thing the transmitter and I use something just to poke the quadcopter down <coughs> Um, for I think for brushless moto you don't need to if you can actually try to fight back the the how say uh, the drone stuck on the tree you can actually use the brush moto because it has more power and it's not easily spoiled but for brush moto it's quite sensitive and fragile even though it has a it can have a ve very long uh, lifespan so um, the problem is right now. Uh, what happened is that one of my friends actually used the transmitter, turn on the power and then keep pushing up the throttle just for the car copter to drop down. So what happened was that the motor of the car copter burned out. Um, this was the worst one because he got stuck on a tree. Uh, for this one yeah so i just already changed the motto to the thing okay um so what i did <coughs> so what i did is actually i need modify again the transmitter and do it properly and um, seems all okay but i'm still having some problems with a uh, connection so I suspect it's more of my soldering technique that I mistake. Maybe I burn some of the <laughs> things inside. So most probably I need to buy a new one. Uh, <clears throat> then the thing is that I already bought new motors for it, replacement motors, and I actually changed some of the gears inside because uh, at that point in time when my friend tried to turn on the power, the gear basically all rounded. There's no motive 
so I have to buy all four of it at the same time so later I tried uh, I did a test flight just now and it seems okay but I'm still having problem with uh, with uh, with the transmitter um, along like 50 more than 50 meter it actually can go far but out of a sudden um, it went haywire and throttle up again so I'm not sure why so most probably I suspect is the signal so later we'll be doing a test flight again showing you guys uh, from the quadcopter view using my uh, SJ6000 uh, I will start this thing on the underneath it um, the reason I actually wanted to try my Xiaomi Xiaomi uh, camera but I rather use this one because uh, you see there's a nick there yeah, it's actually done by my TSN CX20 uh, drone the GPS drone uh, it, this it, that one also another problem <laughs> but it's a good quadcopter it's just that I think at that point I didn't get any um, connect GPS satellite connection from uh, from the GPS so what happened is actually the quadcopter just fell down uh, without with no response so I'll be using this again so you in the video you will see some smudge on the on the video itself uh, because of the lens uh, so far that's all I need to see to, to let you know so let's just hope that the quadcopter can fly properly again so my next my next project will be I think we'll be using more on the I think my next project will be on the transmitter I have to buy a new one uh, the problem currently to get the replacement is that uh, in my country Singapore they, they keep selling the whole set they doesn't want to let go spare parts so I can actually get spare parts locally but the problem is that um, is about this data I do the problem is that they you know profit 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 so they don't want it if we, even if they want to let go they will like double the price so hopefully you will see soon the video in my other another video that I'll be uploading thank you bye bye